friend Satan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Denmark, Tina Rasmussen. Her opponent is from China, Lulan. So women's singles final at the women's singles event has caused so many upsets here at this year's All England Championships. The number one and two seeds departing in the very first round. But what a quality lineup we have for this final. Lou Lan, the world number three ranked player, up against Timo Rasmussen of Denmark. And as you can see, this is the fourth meeting between these two players. And it's Rasmussen who has the advantage. In fact, the only time that Lou Lan has won was at the Danish Open two years ago. So it's all the recent comeback. encounters in favour of the Zayas in 2005. So it's looking at the new man's path through to the final. In the past, she's had a relatively easy time, including a walkover in the second round against the world junior champion Wang Yi Han, our teammate, and then quarter final victory over the number five seed, the world championship silver medalist Wang Chen of Hong Kong. And then in the si semi final, defeating the number seven seed, the European champion Zhu Wai Wen, in two straight games. So she really has been very impressive. No match lasting more than 33 minutes. Now, in contrast, Tina Rasmussen has had a very tough path. Only match against Kanako Yonekura of Japan. And then in the second round, the number four seeds, the reigning world champion, Zhu Lin. She beat her in two straight games in just 32 minutes. That was very impressive. But then in the quarterfinal against last year's runner-up, Pi Hong Yan of France, needed to go the full distance, three minutes shy of the hour that quarter final encounter and then in the semi-final yesterday against Wang Haiyun of Korea. Two games but again very tough 21-17, 21-18. So Tina Rasmussen, 28 years of age, world ranking at the moment of nine, but I'm quite certain that she will move up the world ranking after this particular tournament. What a six months she's had. Winner of the Japan Open Super Series event, when unseeded, and she beat five Chinese-born players back-to-back. -back. First round, of course, was against... Zhu Wai Wen, who now represents Germany, and then after that played four Chinese players. Sensational win at the Japan Open. And she started 2008 remarkably well as well, winning the first of the Super Series events, the Malaysian Open, beating Zhu Lin, the world champion, in the final. Lu Lan, 20 years of age, world ranking of three.
and the best she's done in the All England Championships previously was last 16. In fact, last year she lost in the very fr first round, despite being the number seven seed, lost out to Wong Mu Chu of Malaysia. Bronze medalist at the World Championships last year in Kuala Lumpur, lost out to her teammate Julin, who of course went on to take the gold medal. Just three career titles for Lu Lan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yonix All England Open Championships Women's Singles Final. Between, on my right, Lulan, China. <laughs> on my left, Tina Rasmussen, Denmark. Plenty of Danish support here at the National Tina Indoor Rasmussen Arena. Third. Lovell. Play. The tall Tina Rasmussen, far side of the court, and uh, my goodness, what must she be feeling? I have to say, Morton, when both players were introduced to come on to court for the start of this women's singles final, I thought Lou Lam was looking very nervous, but surely Tina Rasmussen must have a bit of nerve as well. I'm sure they feel the same, but it's just a way of disguising it, I think. Good rally. And of course, these two players met each other three times previously, but importantly, the last meeting that they had was in the Malaysian Open quarter final. And Tina Rasmussen winning through 21 16 in the deciding game, and she presumably will draw on that memory and that experience coming into today's final. I think you're right. Um, Lulan is, is um, maybe not. What should I say? Coming with a lot, but she comes with a lot of pace. Yeah. She plays fast, and um, that can put Tina on a lot of pressure. I'm going to present you with another theory in a few seconds. Go on. <laughs> Three. Tell me now. But imagine, imagine if you were Lulan. You do actually do not have an influence in this match whether you win or lose. Tina is the one that's deciding whether this, she's going to win it or she's going to lose it. Lulan cannot really dictate anything. Tina will dictate. If she dictates really well, she wins. If she makes too many mistakes, she loses. I've played a lot of matches like that where I am not in control. My opponent is the one that's doing the controlling. Is the one that is my opponent having a good day? There's nothing I can do. I can, you know really grind and work and work and work and hope that eventually that's enough but if they really play well I could not win it's exactly the same here Interesting. And, and part of that is because for Tina Rasmussen has a lot of power if her shots are working then she's the one who will play winners she will play all the winners, like that one. Yep. It's really fast, it's coming across the backhand, it's hard to defend it, and she will play hundreds of those shots. And if they're coming good, most of them, she will win it. She will apply so much pressure. Yeah. Did you get a chance to speak to her earlier oh, today? Three. Did I spoke to her this morning, yeah. Yep. And was she feeling good? And no, she's quite confident. Uh, she's happy. Uh, things are going well, so... Um, no, she's okay. And as I said yesterday, I, I would be slightly disappointed if she doesn't win. I think she's got all it takes to win this match. Save us over. See, is that what I mean? Dulan is out of the equation on that one. Four um, five. And Tina missed it, but, you know, it, Tina makes the decision. Thank you.
Not a lot of ladies can play doubles like that in the singles. Yeah. Exchanges. The backhand kill. Shot to make, never stayed with it. No, she was always as it already gone. Yeah. It just only touched it and then back and uh, didn't really follow the, the shot through. Yeah, that's nice. And it really is quite remarkable to me when I think that. In 2005 at the Sudamon Cup Finals in Beijing, Tina Rasmussen, the most horrific injury, rupturing her Achilles tendon, and she's come back in singles better and stronger and fitter. Yep, agree completely. She's really playing well, but it's all down to the fact that she's got so much more confidence now in her, her, in her own game and her ability to stay on the court physically. But isn't it so tragic that it takes the serious career-threatening injury for her to perhaps realize that she's got to work harder, train harder, think more about the game, be more precise in her preparation, her practice. It's just so human, isn't it? Yeah. It's only when you lost it you realize what you've lost. A very good start for Tina and uh, all you uh, viewers out there, you have to apologize if I'm a bit biased. This is the match for me. Yeah, we'll allow that, Morton. Six, nine. Great retrieving from Lulan, only just reaching. Oh, so it's over. Seven, ten. Good shot. She would never have got that one. Yes, I know you're biased, Morton, but you also have to admit that it was two great punch clears from Lou Lan deep was. into the forehand corner. It was. Then. Good lift. Good length. Eight. And therefore the Dane does have the advantage of this game into the three-point advantage.
well, very difficult, Morden, for you to hear what was being said there. In fact, virtually impossible. I didn't, I didn't hear <laughs> no. anything. Lip what, reading, maybe. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think he would have advised her? What would you advise her? I think uh, Tina is doing really well, getting off to a good start. And for the fact that she's playing on the far side, it's, um, it's, it's quite good for her to be in such a commanding role. There's no doubt that Tina is scared of the drift because she's so powerful and it's difficult to control it. And they can go on like that. <laughs> Once again, that looks a very nervous shot to me. No. Yeah. Good pressure from Tina. Straight pressure. I discussed it a few times earlier. Oh, beautiful angle. Moving Luland, the full diagonal of the court. Push the number three seed Four deep into the backhand nine. corner. There's the one, and then brings her down. So sharp. Front. Yeah, it's terrific. Tina's winning a lot of rallies by playing to the front of the courts. The, the steep Three and the short uh, drop shots are really punishing um, Lulan. Presumably, Lou Lan is taking a, a deep base position because she's afraid of the, of the power of her opponent, and that's why she's so vulnerable to those drop shots. Yes. Again, oh. Tina driving it, just driving it back. 16-9. Five straight points for the Danes. Very nervous, isn't she? Uh, she feels the pressure. She is having to find nine. answers, and obviously Tina's having a very good patch at the moment. Luland deliberately taking her time, trying to recompose her thoughts. Service over. Ten seventeen. The shuttle deflected badly by hitting the top of the tape. Yeah, goodness me. That's going wide. Yeah. Yep. Two points away. Yeah, it looks like at the moment that wherever Tina plays the shot, she's uh, keeping Lulan under pressure. At the net, at the back, wherever it comes. Oh, that's superb. Really is controlling the front of the court, especially. Game point 10. 10 game points. We are not going to miss that. That one's wide. She'll get one of the 10 opportunities. Yeah, so you can just relax a little more. <laughs> I'm at the edge of my seat. I can see that. <laughs> Yep. This time the lucky net court in favour of Tina Rasmussen and the opening game in very convincing style. First game by Tina but it just Rasmussen. proves what I said before. 
Lulan is not, you know, in control. In control, not in the equation. It would be, it, it, it's, it's Tina is dictating. So they are confirmation of the score in the opening game to the day, 21-11. Now Lee Yongbo has his work cut out. Seconds, 20 seconds. So, Steve Pedersen having a word with Tina Rasmussen. Did you manage to hear what was being said, Morton? Yeah, a, a bit more. He was very happy with the uh, variations of shots, you know, pressure at the back, pressure at the front. But she must focus on the front, really Second make sure that she's controlling the net. Level. Well, she certainly Play. managed to do that so far. Very well played. Good play. One love. Well, of course, because the Dane has been controlling the front of the court, Lou Lam will feel that she's got to hit the perfect shot so that. Tina Rasmussen can't finish it off or control things, and that's why she's making a couple of errors. Pushed it long. See, Tina was happy with Two, how it developed and really went in and tried to, to finish it. Oh, that's an amazing backhand. Oh. Great awareness of where her opponent was on court. Oh. Good good judgment from Lulan. Mm. Must have been close. Three, two. Oof. Oh, probably Oof. in. Obviously seen from my perspective. Service <laughs> 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 oh, way long with the back line. Three, four. I know I mentioned it yesterday as well but uh, I think uh, the viewers should really try to look at uh, the rotation of, um, of Tina Rasmussen and how she almost got the back to the net when she's uh, hitting her shots and, and that rotation brings a lot of power into her shots. Yes and especially from the forehand side. Four, three. And the shuttle's up in the air. Five, 
She shouted even before it landed. But it was way in. Yeah, it was a great shot from Lou Lamb. Yeah, she's taking more initiative, isn't she? She is. Yes. Uh, lifting long of that back line, though. Five and six. very good example of uh, the disguise what it means when Tina has got as I say almost the back towards the net and the opponent that got no chance to see where it's coming if you look there yeah. and then the disguise shot yeah. turns the shoulders right round that's way out <laughs> almost hitting the blue seven six Tina saying the shuttle Ladies. was okay. Wants to play on with it. Oh. Oh, and I think that was a great Eight, length on the push. Yeah, Luna was 6 3 up, and now she's 8 6 down. Judgment landed just long, and Lou Lan at the moment is not coping with the drift. Nine, six. That's my left. Yeah, good judgment. And good call by the line judge. Yeah. Service over. Just a I know she's going cross now. <laughs> Seven, nine. But she was under so much pressure. Yep. Difficult shot. Well played by Ludan. effect of being in front of the game interval will be very important as far as this final is concerned. Yeah, it's going a bit up and down. 6-3, 9-6, 9-all. Yeah. That's wide. So it's over. 10-9. Again, now I think it's important for Tina when she's returning serve. Dulan is serving quite a lot of low services. She must go in and pressurize them. It's a good play. That's out. Good change of pace from Lulan. It's all level once again. Ten all. Not coping with the drift. Pushing that one 
to run when she's playing with the wind, with the drift. Well, more errors from Lou Lan. And normally I would have said that she's the consistent player. But I think she's been forced into an awful lot of those errors. Interesting. No Lee on boat. So the slenderest of possible margins on a game interval. Eleven Just one ten. point. Play. By Luland. Excellent defence. Yes, and a clever smash to finish off the rally. Smashing directly at her opponents. Yeah. Struggling to get back. Hitting, uh, hitting the right hip, which is a very sore point in the defence. Yeah. Interesting little reaction at the end of the rally from Tina Rasmussen. A clenched fist. Urging herself on. And the margins between success and failure so small. That shuttle sitting on the top of the tape, but just falling back the Chinese side. And it's good movement back from Tina Rasmussen to get behind that to play the smash. Yeah, and then the follow-up would have been there as well. So, so that's good. Uh, the good thing for Tina is she, she really dares to win. She's going for the shot, she's playing whatever she can, and she's really putting a lot of pressure in there. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful shot from Lulan. 12-14. I think uh, Lulan really, if she should give herself a, a bigger chance of winning, I think she must try to push a lot to the baseline. Push a lot d uh, down to the baseline, wait patiently and for, her, for her chances and, and maybe Tina will make the mistakes. Knowing that Tina can actually smash and attack it, but, um, you know, like that, waiting yeah, for the chances. Yeah. But uh, of course that is a fairly dangerous thing to do, not only because Tina likes to attack, but because Lu Lan is playing with the wind, so mm. the shuttle, every time she lifts it or clears it, there's a possibility it could go long. Absolutely, but I think that's, that's the chance. You notice lately she's ser serving a lot of high services and keeping uh, Tina on the, ba on the back line. Well, suddenly in that rally, mm. Lu Lan taking the initiative, dictating the pace. 15-14. Good play, really good play. Stop! And push it on. And this is a very good spell 16, by Luland. Five straight points. And most of it has been pushes to the baseline either clears or lifts from the net, everything to the baseline. These high services, 
Tina can really not do anything about it because they obviously must be on the baseline. But Tina has to play with more patience now. She's playing against the drift. She must play more clears, put the pressure on the baseline as well, and then wait for her chances rather than go for them first time. second rally running she's tried that mm. cross court little block from very low down or cross court net shot and second rally running she's made an error on it so seven straight points now for Lulan Big point, wasn't it? Huge difference. Yep. 1916, 1718. Yep. Pushed it long. And now. Game game for yeah, Tina's got to play with more patience, that's for sure. Good judgment. Shuffle landing long. But it's still possible. Three points. 20. Forehand corner. 18 20. Yeah, I actually thought he was going out, but uh, kept it in. That's wide Yay. and long, and we will have a deciding game. Tina Rasmussen seemed to be in control. 14-11 up in this second game. And then Lou Lan came back so strongly. That run of seven points. And she's taken the second game. 21-18. already then taking her time
Morton, you were sitting there shaking your head. Do you think that maybe the opportunity is gone? No, definitely not. Uh, but it, Tina needs a good start to, um, you know, good start to the first set, and then try to forget the past, and then just carry on. Uh, Steen said, you know, more smashes, uh, heavy smashes on the body to see, and then follow up and, and add some pressure on Final that. Game. See if that works. So far, we've been hitting a lot of smashes to the sides. Play. Third and deciding game in this Yonix All England final. Well, trying to pressurise, but from that end of the court, she's got to be play. careful. Hitting with the drift. out the back. And once again, the psychological battle. Lulan saying, no, I want to play on with the same change shuttle. And the umpire saying, no, change it. Malcolm Bannon from England, the umpire for this women's singles final. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Very well constructed rally. Yeah, and most of all, I think the important part was that it was a lot of pace into it. Really chasing her opponent on that one. That's a courageous flick serve Three, with the drift. Uh, but I thought it was good the, just to mix it up, do something a little different. It almost seemed to rush Lulan. Oh, that is phenomenal. Wonderful angle. Go back so quickly. Thundered down the cross courts. Smash. Most players would have had to play that straight. Desperate shot. It worked out, but uh, it was a very risky shot. Very risky. It was from far out, and it was so tight. Yes, and especially as she made errors from that at the end of that second game. from Newland to take the shot so early at the net. That's what Three, changed the momentum one. of the rally. That was the one that had done the damage. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. Twice. Good shot. Steen is sitting getting really nervous there. <laughs> so understandable. Uh, this was so crisp. Great play. The judgment. Three. 
8-3. And I think from the Danish point of view, if Tino Rasmussen can keep pushing for the next two or three rallies, I think psychologically that might break her opponent. That quick serve worked again. Yes, it did. 9-3. That's, that's, yeah. 10-3. Outside. Yeah. So it's going to be important for Tina now to to stop the run of uh, Lulan. Yeah, she's got three three points now in a row. with a five-point advantage. Net winners 11 for today and just three for Lou Lan. And that emphasizes the fact that the coaches were saying you have got to dominate from the front of the court. But what was the other advice there, Morton? Still going for the body smash, uh, right hip. Um, possibly show a little bit more emotion, you know, when she's winning shots, adding on some pressure on, on the mental side of it. And uh, he was very happy with the um, variations in, in services, where some flick service, some short, some high ones. Did so well to control that. Seven Real eight tendency eight. when players try and play that shot from round the head there that they drag the shuttle wide of the mark, but that was yeah. perfection. It's probably the most difficult shot in, in singles. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, good pressure from the front of the court. A little hold and flip from Tina Rasmussen. She needs the court attendant on. So much perspiration on the court surface. I think she, uh, Tina should try when um, opportunity arises from her backhand side to attack that cross court smash. She did twice. I think she can earn some, you know, good good points in that. Yeah, you can see from that statistic that she really is mixing up her serves far more than Lou Lan. But she was wise to the flick on that occasion. Eight. Well, this is a huge rally coming up Nine right now. Twelve. Yeah, that's a bit of a miss, that one. Yeah. Wasn't really under pressure. Mm. Once again, a disagreement as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Rasmussen has her way. Rasmussen, who looks nervous. Very nervous indeed. Yep. That's why I said I really thought that was a huge point. It was a huge point as far as Rasmussen was concerned. Oh. Yet another error from the Danish racket. And the scores are level. One game all, 12 all in the decider. And Morton, what on earth do you do when you're obviously struggling with nerves? You've been in all England finals, eight of them all together. What, how do you settle yourself down? I think at this point in, in the match, you, you simply just have to play your shots. You have to believe in what you can do and, and, and work it. But, um, but Lulan is doing what uh, Steen asked Tina to do. You know, she's really on the, on the mental side of it. Uh, She's up, she's showing her emotion, she's saying, I can win this one, where you can see Tina is really, oh, I don't want to be here. Yeah. Well, six straight points for Lulan. Out. Oh, it's called Goods. Yeah, I think it's out. Yeah, umpire has overruled the decision. And I don't think Tina Rasmussen realised that initially. There, the umpire, the overall. Mulan can't believe that it's been overruled. Of course, the umpire not supposed to overrule unless a clear mistake has been made. And that, in my opinion, was a clear mistake. It was out. <laughs> but it's a brave decision by the umpire. Yeah. Brave but good decision by Malcolm Bannum. 13 all. That's uh, nice though from Lou Lang. Bettina looked a very sort of locked in her emotions. She's not, not playing freely. She must open up. Play the shots, go for what she's good at. No, I missed it. And I just get the feeling that this is slipping away from the day. Yes. 
Sandy Silver. 14, 15. Now, who's got the courage? Mm, it's now or never. That's a good shot. That's it. That's uh, what I want to see. Play the shots. Go for it. Oh. Back level. And that was so important winning that rally. And also the manner in which she won that rally. And that could lift the Danish spirits once again. Was out. A good smash. Didn't have to go for the line. 16 more. Yeah, look, her feet are way out of that back of that court. Mm. What's that? That's good pressure. That's, That's good very pressure. Very good uh, pressure. And a little bit of luck because I was with you on that, Morton. I thought that Tina Rasmussen shot. Ramu lands backhand side of the net. I thought that would have gone out. But that was plump on the line. So now the Dane back into the lead. Yeah, so now the clenched fist shown once more by Tina Rasmussen. Urging herself 18, on. Yeah, she's got to show the opponent that she actually wants it. She can win it, and she believes she can win it. Suddenly, Tina Rasmussen has come alive once more. And she is two points away from the All England title. Cross, cross, yep. She set herself up. The opportunity was there. 17-19. That's well done of Luland. There were two very difficult shots to get back. That's well done. She knew it. Has to refocus. It's a good chance. It was well played. I would have played the same shot. She's playing it so well. You see, it's a straight winner. Unfortunately, going out. Just one point the deficit. That's long of the back line. Good judgment from Tina Rasmussen. And she's on the verge of victory. Two championship points for Tina Rasmussen.
Oh, that's a great shot from Luland. Good deception and great courage. 19-20. Yeah, a slight slip with the left foot from Tina Rasmussen. So once again the margin, just one point, but it's still championship point for the Dane. Smash in the middle. Yeah. Oh, that's a wild backhand. It's 20 points all, and we will need extra points until there's a two clear point winning margin. And this is most definitely all about who has got the character and the nerve. long the judgment from Rasmussen and will it be third time lucky 21-20 match point number three that's going to go wide goodness me Yes. She's done it! <laughs> Tina Rasmussen leaps into the arms of her boyfriend. What a moment for the game. She can hardly believe it. What nerve she showed in the end. I thought that the game was slipping away from her. At 15, 16 down, she looked nervous. She'd lost a couple of points. They're shaking hands with Lou Lan, but my goodness. Well, it's been six years since the Danish women's singles champion here at the All England Championships when Camilla Martin won in 2002. And Tina Rasmussen unseeded has come through and won her second Super Series event of the year. The Malaysian Open, the first major tournament of the year, and now she's followed it up with victory in the All England. And quite frankly, I think she is the leading player in world badminton at the moment. Of course, winner of the Japan Open last autumn. What a victory. And Morton Frost predicted this right from the start of the tournament. We've had upsets with the number one and two seeds, losing in the first round. And from that moment, Morton Frost predicted a Danish victory. The moment of realisation. The Danish coaches absolutely elated. What a moment for Denmark. So, the... Confirmation of the score, 21-11, 18-21, 22-20 in the deciding game. Yeah, we made a joke this morning, uh, Steen, uh, Thomas and I, because I was the coach in Japan when Tina won and Thomas was in uh, Malaysia when Tina won. So we said, you know, okay, Steen, he can have this one today. <laughs> Goodness, mate. Company Limited with Adrian Christie, Chief Executive of Badminton England, and Mike Tredges, winner of three All England. Congratulations to Tina, congratulations to, to Steen as well. And now invite really Adrian and Ben to step forward to present the commemorative medal to umpire Malcolm Bannon and his service judge Doug Morden from England. Well, a very good umpiring decision in the middle of that match, that final game from Malcolm Bannum. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2008 runner-up in women's singles is from China, Lu Lan. 
Well, obvious disappointment. It was a tremendous final. Both women giving it their all. Claiming her first All England title, please welcome to the winners' podium the 2008 Yonex All England Women Singles Champion from Denmark, Tina Rasmussen. The moment that she has dreamed of for many a year. The All England title so precious to all the players.
Well, what a thrilling women's singles final. And next on court is women's doubles.